Okay, so we're going to do some roasting. I've got my popcorn popper, 900 watts, the chimney that I'm going to use to raise the temperature and to keep the beans in, um, and my calendar for cooling, my stopwatch, and my notes for when to note down first crack, second crack, and finish. Uh, it's a bit warmer than uh, the previous roasts today, um, the, so the weather I'm suspecting is going to probably decrease the roast time. I've got 110 grams of uh, my uh, blend of beans, so let's just start and let's turn it on. So you can see the chaff is already starting to fly out. So for the initial minute or two, I'm going to have to keep doing this because the popper is not half, uh, strong enough to move these beans. I want it to be tumbling over each other before I stop. Now at this stage I might just add the chimney. using a much shorter spoon before, but with the chimney, it really focuses the heat up along the um, chamber, and it was really pretty uncomfortable. So I went out and got myself a long-handled wooden spoon, and that's really a great job. and 15 seconds, write that down. Now that's quite typical of my no uh, roast, to have this crack around 3 minutes 15 seconds, so surprisingly the temperature hasn't done a huge impact to it. I'm expecting to finish uh, the roast around 8 minutes 20 seconds. It is fairly 
really windy today, so that might be compensating for the heat, uh, the warmer temperature and resulting in a, a, just a similar roast profile. So I'm going to cool this down and turn this off. Okay, so there you have it. That's the roast to second crack. It did uh, take a faster time to roast than um, previously um, with almost a rolling second crack from uh, the end of uh, first crack, which was something that I wasn't used to. Now that probably was a factor uh, uh, of the weather being 34 degrees Celsius outside at the moment but at the end of the day we did get to a second crack and the general evenness it's, it is a reasonably even roast bearing in mind that this is a blend of four different beans from di four different um, um, areas so they will roast at different uh, rates so there will be some lighter and some darker beans. Um, I'll be putting these beans in here to aerate. It's just a Pyrex, uh, which is not really all that airtight. So it will have uh, the CO2 will escape to some extent. And after that, after two or three days, I put it into these containers, which will seal it in. Here's the previous roast. And um, and I put a note there with all the profiles of the roast. Now that this will be perfect to drink after three days. Um, after a day or so, you should see some oil to come out. Um, it's not really all that evident at the moment, but um, they do come out. And after a day. After a few hours, in fact, the aroma starts to come out as well with the coffee, uh, that fresh coffee bean smell. At the moment, it doesn't really smell like that. Uh, I'm not sure how you'd... Um, it's probably more like a burnt peanut um, kind of smell. I'm not even sure if that's how you'd um, describe it. But definitely after a few hours, uh, you'll have that aroma come out. And after three days it will be perfect for drinking. Prior to that it's still good to drink as well. You just won't get that full body and the 
different characteristics that come out after three days. Like um, for, for my blend here, it generally comes out with a bit of hazelnut and a bit of floral, and definitely a very smooth blend with, uh, with a real nice crema. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.